Now, North Korea seems to be taking further steps in dismantling its missile test site. In fact, a North Korea monitoring website says the regime might be going above and beyond what Kim Jong-un promised U.S. President Donald Trump during their Singapore summit back in June. Our Won Jong-hwan with the details. North Korea continues to take down facilities at the missile engine testing site. Citing satellite imagery from last Friday, a U.S. website monitoring the regime, 38 North, says more work is being done to dismantle facilities at the Sohe satellite launching station. The pictures show that Pyongyang is ripping down the steel-based structure of the vertical engine test stand and also removing walls at the transfer structure on the launch pad used to support rocket launches. An analyst said those facilities are key to the testing and development of engines for ballistic missile and space launch vehicles. However, the report also said that while work at the launch pad for now does seem to be related to its dismantlement, the possibility cannot be ruled out that it's the start of some modification of the structures or other purposes. The report went on to say that the apparent dismantling should be viewed only as first steps, since it's neither permanent nor irreversible. Yeah, I think it's a very good attempt from North Korea to show to the United States that it has a very uh, strong willingness to give up its nuclear weapons and missiles. Uh, but in fact, this is something related to the future test sites, launch site destruction, which is not something directly targeting at the destruction of the ICBM that North Korea already had. So that's why the U.S. is not accepting this as an important serious signal to dismantle its ICBM that it already possesses, which is the main target of the United States towards North Korea. Meanwhile, a confidential U.N. document reportedly says that North Korea has not stopped its nuclear and missile programs but continues to defy Security Council resolutions through a massive increase in illicit, ship-to-ship -ship transfers of petroleum products. According to Reuters, the UN report also said North Korea is still cooperating militarily with Syria and has been trying to sell weapons to rebels in Yemen. Wan Jong-wan, Arirang News.